everyone. I'm Sabina Khan and I'm the author of The Love and Lies of Roxana Ali, which came out in January 2019 from Scholastic. The Love and Lies of Roxana Ali is about a Bangladeshi American Muslim teen living with a huge secret. She's a lesbian, but her parents can't find out until she's safely away at college in the fall. Unfortunately, her mother walks in on her when she's kissing her girlfriend and all hell breaks loose. Her parents whisk her away to Bangladesh under the guise of her grandmother's illness. But what they really want is to marry her off to a man at the first chance they get before any hint of a scandal can get out. Now Roxana has to fight her way back to her life in Seattle, back to her girlfriend and her carefully laid out plans for the future. All she's trying to do is to carve out a space for herself where she can be who she truly is without the fear of losing everything and everyone that she loves. So I hope you'll give The Love and Lies of Roxana Ali a chance um, and I hope you enjoy the story. Um, I'd like to share something with you, uh, those of you who are planning to write, who may be struggling a little bit. Uh, first of all, we all struggle with the stories that we want to write. I think it's part of the process. But um, something I learned that was really important to me was it's important to write the story that you want to read. Uh, growing up, I never saw myself in any of the stories that I read. And years later, my daughters also never saw themselves in the stories they read. And so it was important for me to write a story which showed a, with a character who looks like I do and who looks like my daughters and countless other teens who don't often see themselves reflected in young adult literature. So uh, my advice is to find a story that you're very passionate about, that you believe in, and write that story. Write for yourself and it will speak to your readers. When I was writing the story, I was very conflicted and I was very concerned about the kind of, um, you know, uh, reactions it would get because it's it's somewhat controversial because it has, um, it's, it's about a religious community, a, a fairly conservative religious community. And I also had to be careful that I didn't represent this story as though it were the story of all the people in my community because it's not. No culture, no religion is a monolith. This story is just one, uh, one story about one person who is Muslim American. There are countless other versions of this type of story, some with happier endings, some with unhappy endings. Um, and so it's important to keep in mind that we don't represent, one person, one author, and one story does not represent everyone in that community or that culture. Um, other than that, I believe if you continue, if you persevere, even through the doubts, even when it feels like your story isn't going anywhere or that no one will ever read your story, um, just continue, don't give up. Uh, I felt like that when I was writing this story. I didn't think there, there would be anybody who would care to read the story about a Muslim American teen who's queer and um, I was very happy to find that there were many people who wanted to read, who actually needed to read this story. So someone out there needs to read your story and you need to read that particular story. You must want to read that story. And um, uh, my advice is to just continue at your own pace, at your own, you know, um, you know with your own, you'll have your own journey. Everyone has their own journey. And um, I hope that you are all doing well during these strange times. And I hope that since you find yourself with perhaps in a situation where you have some extra time or, you know, you can't do anything much these days, um, you know, you can't go outside much these days. So I hope that if you have been writing something or you've been thinking of writing something, I hope that you will use this opportunity to do that. And um, I hope that you find um, a, a, you find inspiration in your own life, in your amongst your you know your family and your friends and your own experiences. And I hope that you will write the story that you've always wanted to. And I'd like to wish you all the best.